So we're going to mix our colors for our snow scene. And since most of it is dealing with variations of warm and cool for the snow, we have four piles of white in the center. Down below for our dark values of the woods, we have three piles of Italian terra verde. At the very top, we have three piles of white for variations in the color of our sky because we're really only dealing with three different areas. Snowfield, trees, and a little bit of sky in the background. So for our land, our woods, we've got a dark violet that is going to be the very deepest of the colors in the wood and you can identify that in the photograph by looking very closely at the actual hue that you see there. We're going to take the leftover on the back of the knife and use that just a little bit, even that's almost too much, to knock the edge off of our green. There is a little bit of green showing in the woods. That green comes from the evergreens that are still present. So we just want to darken it slightly and dull it slightly. But we want a contrast between it and the purple. For our in-between color here, we are going to use ultramarine blue to create a blue-green because all the shadows in the winter are a mixture of blue-green and especially in this photograph dark dark blues and dark violets in some areas. Now we're going to also create with about half of this white a small area of lighter I'll put it right here, lighter and duller violet. So we can take some of our violet mixture and we're going to mix it to get the right value. Remember, mix light, dark into the light. It saves you tons of paint when you do that. And then we're going to dull that down. This is going to be our gray violet, gray lavender for the trees. To dull it down, we take a small amount of yellow ochre and that will dull that violet down and give us a more muted intensity for some of those areas of the trees that are a little bit lighter. We need a little bit more yellow ochre there. So this is going to be our lightest color in the trees. So we have two darks, a medium and a light. A little hair more of the dark. Doesn't take very much of that violet mixture at all to cool that right on back down. So remember that we want to keep our color is very clean, so if you get a little bit of color mixed in there with your dark, don't let it stay because it will pollute everything else. Pull it on out. If you need to, to intensify the blue and the blue-green, take another tiny little bit of white and add that to our mixture so that it intensifies the blue and brightens it up just a little bit. We are looking for a contrast between the dark blue-green and the dark violet-green. And we can do the same with our violet as well. So add a tiny little bit of white to that and it's going to brighten it up and we'll have a contrast there between it and the dark blue-green. So, 
The next thing we're going to do is mix some of the colors for our snow. Remember snow, although it's white, almost none of the snow in our painting will actually be white. So we want a range of warm and cool color contrast. So we are going to use our Egyptian violet, a tiny little bit of it. That may even be too much. To create an intense light violet. Because remember, it's going to reflect all the colors of the foliage in the wood as well as the colors of the sky. So we definitely need a light violet. We also will need a light ultramarine blue mixture. Because it's going to reflect the color of that dark blue-green. Right now, it's super pure as far as blue goes. We're going to tone those down with just a little bit of our shadow colors in just a minute. We also will want some phthalo blue and white as a contrast to the ultramarine blue and white. so that we have a warm, cool contrast right there in the blues. Thalo blue and white crops up a lot when you're painting snow. So there we go with our thalo blue and white. And then we also want a warm white. So we're going to add a little bit of yellow ochre to a white over here. To create a warm white. It's very similar to the Gamblin warm white. So none of our snow is going to be pure white. It's going to be one of these mixtures. Warm white, phthalo blue and white, ultramarine blue and white, or lavender and white. We can add a tiny little bit of the mixture of our shadow colors to those to help unify those a little bit. You're not going to see too big a difference, but you will see a little bit of a difference. Get a little less of that. There we go. So these darker white tints are going to be the shadows on the snow. We're going to use some of our blue-green into the ultramarine blue and white so that those two will speak to each other and a tiny little bit of our green into the phthalo to make those speak to each other. Now as we mix the colors for the sky, our main sky color is going to be a very intense ultramarine blue. So, remember it takes a little bit more ultramarine blue than phthalo blue when you're mixing it up because ultramarine doesn't have as strong a tinting strength. So, it's going to be a strong blue. We're going to exaggerate the contrast there a little bit. And there's very little phthalo in the sky in the winter time. So, we're going to add just a tiny little bit of it in just a moment. That is going to help tone down the ultramarine just a little bit and help unify all the colors in the composition. So there is our dark blue for the sky. Then we're going to take a little bit of that, mix it into the next one. And remember we do that for unity. So this has a tiny little bit of ultramarine blue in it. And it's going to have a little bit more phthalo than ultramarine. So this will be our lightest blue that's down on the horizon. There are no clouds in the sky on this one. So we just need a lighter blue for contrast down on the horizon. And then we're going to take a little bit of that 
into our last pile here and we're going to make a warmer more greeny blue head towards green with it even more so than the phthalo blue and the reason I said it's warmer is now we're heading towards yellow so a tiny little bit of yellow ochre in that and that's going to green that up even more and make it a little bit warmer than that phthalo blue and white mixture. So we might need a hair more of the yellow ochre in order to have a strong contrast. Remember, we want strong contrast in our colors. So there we go. Now we've got a distinctly warmer blue-green for the sky. So those are our colors. There we have it, and we're ready to dive in.